have come to the most talk about historical mansion that was built by the late president William R. Todber. And uh, he was to move in this particular area two days prior to his death. And uh, his wife, Victoria, narrated a story on how he was killed. After they have settled all of this place, his daughter, everybody came out to make sure that this place is settled so that after the Baptist convention, then the next day, he would have had dinner with some of his dignitaries that came to the country uh, to visit him. But on that fateful day, prior to leaving the Baptist convention where they had a very good day, and then he, you know, he preached a summer on that day that talk about, you know, like he saw his death, the former president, and he kept uh, talking about it. And when he got back at the executive mansion, he told his wife that he wasn't feeling too well. And um, he went to have some rest in his room while the wife also went to rest. But midnight, unknown soldiers of the armed forces of Liberia entered the executive mansion and shot William R. Totber. So he never had the opportunity to live into his dream mansion. But after almost 42 years, this is how this mansion looks. It's been abandoned. The family cannot even afford to renovate this area because it was looted right after the coup. So I want to take you through on the counter diary. Let's go in there and see exactly the current status of the Tudbop Mansion in Bento City. Keep watching. This is Counter Diary. Entering the most talk about the Tudbop Mansion yeah, here in Bento City. So if he was alive today, uh, even when he became president, if he had the opportunity to live here, what would have happened is this. So you have security guy up there and the other guys will be down here. Do all of the security check before we can actually enter the compound. So let's get out there. Let's see exactly. Uh, I just want the, you know, to show you how uh, it, it is like now. This, the entire compound has been abandoned. Uh, who can build this mansion? Who is able to actually uh, renovate this area? Look, look, look at the, the main uh, building at this point. Um, let's get closer to see how many stories were just, just one, two, okay? And I understand they have some real honey bees. The bees are there if you're not careful. <laughs> they will sting you. But yeah, so now you have this beautiful area, this wire area you see here. So you could drive through this way and go to go directly to where we have uh, uh, the, the main entrance to the, to the, to the, to the house, right? So uh, keep watching, let's get there. Look beautiful, uh, but it's a bit scary because the whole place has been abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> so my production team is asking, can we go into the building? So at this point, uh, if everything would have gone the way it was planned by the late President Todbert, it means that you just come up here, you know, if you're going to the house, maybe probably a hard dignitaries from our, you know, uh, from different countries that have come to visit the president. So there was a way around there. Come this way, drive through, and then get there, and the car will go on the other side. Then you get into the building. But I want to take you to the building. Yeah, let's go in the building and show you uh, this Tutber Mansion. It will say, you know, in our local, local parlor, they say that vanity is vanity, man. I mean, being a president of a whole country and uh, after he was, you know, killed, uh, the family had to leave the country. They had to leave the country and some went to Cote d'Ivoire, but they have an awful boy and uh, some other, you know, West African leaders. Uh, that was able to help this family to get out of Liberia since 1980. Uh, nobody has ever come back to say, hey, we can do some renovation here. The family have come, make serious assessment of the area. But um, this expensive building, this very expensive building, how could you, how can you 
how can you uh, run into this place? So let's go in there. Let's show you. So we enter the steps, yeah? When you enter here, yeah, I'm kind of very spectacle because I want my, uh, uh, my camera uh, to move in there as well because of how the play looks. So at this point, so at this point, this is how it looks like. So you have a mini you know, push, yeah? And then uh, after the push, so you come in, this, the, 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 the tie that you can see off there. I want to show you something, right? All of this wall that you see here, and you can still see the design of the tie. Very, very, very expensive, uh, you know, uh, uh, decoration that was done. And this was done in the 1979 uh, to 1980 when they built this particular building. But you can still see the design of the wall. There you see, this was like a marble tie that was here, all year in this building. Very, very expensive uh, marble tie that was here. And then they have a very big, big uh, city room out here, right? This is, you can hear my voice, like the echo. So this was a city room and another area that you can see out there with all of the lights that was meant for the lighting of the area. And they are all being damaged. And this place was looted, like I told you, right after the coup d'etat. The first thing that happened was that Doe and his soldier sent some men here to see. They were, they, it was believed that uh, Totbo had some money in this place. So they came out here and looted the entire area. Uh, you still see it's another you know, certain area or room. I don't really know what this was meant for, but it's a very special area. I want us to go to the hostess. Uh, I don't know if we can pass this way. Are we together? <laughs> huh? All right, so we pass this way. Let's go this way. I've been director. But you have other rooms. We have other rooms here. Before we can go upstairs, we have other rooms here. Um, yeah. So we had a bedroom. That's another bedroom here. So we could just get through and let's show you how. Yeah, there is this bedroom here. So you have this. Another room was here. I don't know this room or the kitchen, I believe. Here was a big place. And then we can move now. Let's go upstairs. All right, so we have shown it down. And I understand one of the things that um, the wife of President Todbo uh, Victoria wrote in her book, we wonder father that she didn't even want to live here because uh, she felt that she was going to get old and then getting up the stairs would have been a problem. Okay, so let me clean the steps here to get to the top of this building, the Todbo Mansion that he envisioned. Somebody say, your dream home. So this is it. So when you get out there, uh, out here you see they also have, he had another room here. But guess what? All this area, like I can show you, this place had tar, but they were all looted uh, during the 1980 coup. So you had another room right here. And this room, you could, you could move, you could move in this place and come to another area. I, was, I wish I had a family, people around, to actually show me the purpose of these rooms, yeah. So you see how it was spacious enough to have a family sitting up here. So this is how spacious this place look. Very big place. But we'll show you the, the shots from above so that you can see how it is like. So we're going back out there, and uh, we have showing you the Todbar Mansion in Bento. So you have another room here, and you have one here. Being very careful. No, come, come. Let me talk to my, my producers here. Uh, they are <laughs> Joseph Sickle Corner Jr. is here along with uh, Smith. Uh, let me see if I can just talk to them. We have here on this uh, uh, this place. Uh, come on, come, Joseph. They have been more like a, I don't know how many acres of land. You you've gone up here. What do you make of this area? Well, I think this was actually a huge investment. Uh, 
you know, about the former and late Liberian president. And I'm not pretty sure that, uh, you know, any family member, you know, have the uh, resources now to do renovation. Uh, like you are describing the tar, you know, till now, if you come, you can see the beauty within the structure. Knowing the fact that they even had a uh, honor grant tunnel from here down to his private mm -hmm. um, lagoon. So this was actually like when you say my dream house, this was like a dream house, but the dream that never really came to pass. Okay, so you talk about the dream that never came to pass, but um, this this is something that I've observed as well. See the concrete, yeah, this concrete, and then I want to show something. This is a marble, marble tar, and if you if you if the camera can get closer, you get it. You know, uh, uh, the the thickness of this marble tar that was placed here, and it's been here since the. Uh, because the house took like uh, from 1978 and uh, 79 up to 1980 before you know he started to uh, complete this area. Uh, but um, it only show came back. This could be another area that we could have as a tourist site if the if the family cannot afford uh, to renovate this area. It could be an opportunity for the government you know to do some investment here that people could come and see. I hope uh, government now and government in waiting will see the need. It's actually a beautiful place, especially when you're passing down. I mean, coming up here, they show you the bar. You remember mm -hmm. when we had our first door, they, they show you the bar, you know, those various areas, like you said, historic historic area where people will leave other countries to actually come and see. This place is beautiful. Despite, you know, the number of years, still the place still seems beautiful. But like I was talking to... Um, Ishmael right behind the scene. Why is it that like some of the you know deserted building you see people living there? Why is it people not here at all? I, I, I don't really know. That's a question we need to ask the Talba family. But now you just not, notice something that this is very expensive. Uh, all of the tar, all of the sheet, all the roofing sheet, down to the table, yeah. the dining table were all looted from this place. And if somebody, it, it brings perhaps some memories. I think that's the reason why you will not see the family members come out there trying to do much investment there because when they get up there, it just brings back a fresh memory. Uh, this place was built. Uh, the president wanted to move like two days prior to his, you know, his death. And the family member had to run away from there. Remember his wife was arrested. Mm -hmm. She was on a house arrest for more than three months before she had the opportunity to, because she was sick, she had to go to the States. And at this point you can see, uh, let me just show you uh, how thick uh, the tar was. So you see yeah. this, this tar. Obvious. Yeah. You can see the thickness of the tar. You know, imagine that number of years. It still look clean. It still look clean. You, know, you can just you just need to to to, 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 clean, to clean it and they stay like this. And up to now, you still have people who are even chipping this chipping thing this off. <laughs> taking yeah, this like off. Here we are. Yeah, we are. You know, you know they're taking it off. You seen, not, no, it's no longer. Uh, you know, no tar. Everybody like tell you how expensive it is but i think uh, like you said either way it's government in waiting government now can take the initiative but i think our government have got a lot to do you know and pay attention here but the family can keep it clean and maybe uh saturdays or sundays people will bring their children to do a tour around maybe they do some get intake i think that would be good but this is massive see the the yard the parking station uh the the, you know the, the the route for the vehicles and stuff like that is really great and i think every liberians you know to have the opportunity to come over here maybe for a day picnic and stuff like that get to see how beautiful this place is and it also this this is a true reflection that war is not good it's not good you know fighting for position it's not good well thank you so much joseph seko Jr. Okay, going back <laughs> so uh let me just uh, get out there and to just wrap it up on the show. So right, right, right behind me here, you can see the beauty of Liberia. You can see, even if you look at the emblem or the sea of Liberia, you see a palm tree. But you, when you look out there, it's a typical, typical representation of our country. Okay, folks, so we have shown exactly the Tudwell Mansion, and we are in the backyard. You can see all oh, yeah, beautiful building, but yesterday we cannot maintain it because it was looted as a result of coup d'etat. 
power struggle in our country. Well, folks, it's been a great time. We've shown you exactly the mansion. My name is Simano Wakatu. Many thanks to all of our producers, talking about Joseph Sokokone Jr., Melvin J. Modem, and editor Ishmael Smith. Keep watching Counter Diary. We are telling the untold stories of Liberia. Yeah.